Hey everyone, this is Vikas for Skyline Motions and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create this type of clean and simple text animation by using Blackmagic Fusion. So let's have a look and get started. Alright, so first of all, we have to take a new composition. So go to File menu and click on New and take a new composition. Okay, now click on this window layout one for single view and increase the size of this uh, preview window. Okay, now go to file menu again and click on preferences and go click on this frame format and set this uh, frame format 1920 into 1080 and 30 frame per second and click on save. Alright, now let's create a background. So click on this BG button and add a background node and drag this background to the viewer and click on this uh, fit button and let's rename it. So press F2 on the keyboard to rename and rename it to BG and hit enter. Okay, now right click on this flow window and go to arrange tool and check this box to turn on the grid snap. Okay, now select this background node and go to properties and pick a color something like that and click on okay. Okay, now let's create a text. So click on this text plus button and add a text node and type your text. So I'm typing clean text okay and drag this text one to the viewer and change this font style to century gothic so this is our century gothic click on this and change this bold to regular okay now select this and increase the size of this text something like 0 0.2 and hit enter and now click on this high quality button and turn off this auto proxy okay now let's create a second text so click on this text plus and type your second text animation tutorial and now let's merge this both text so take a merge node connect this yellow point to this text and green point to this and drag this merge one to the viewer okay now select this text too and change this font style to century gothic and change this bold to regular okay now set this second text over here okay now let's create a mat so click on this bg button and add a background node and let's rename it to mat so press f2 and hit enter okay now select this mat and click on this rectangle mask and add a rectangle mask select this rectangle mask and set this according to the text okay now let's merge this so take a merge node connect this yellow point to this mat and green point to this merge one and drag this merge two to the viewer okay now select this merge two and go to properties and change this operator over to in okay now let's create a line so take a, another background node rename it to line hit enter Place it over here and select this line and click on this rectangle mask select this rectangle mask and create a line something like that so set this width value 0 0.01 and height value 0 0.25 okay now drag this line to the viewer select this line and pick a color yellow and click on ok ok now let's merge this so take a another merge place it over here and connect this yellow point to this line and green point to this merge 2 ok now let's create a junction so hold alt and click on this connection and create a junction something like that and now let's drag this merge 3 to the viewer Okay, now we have to take our transform node. So click on this XF button and add a transform and hold shift and drag it and attach this transform something like that and select this transform and set this Okay, now let's animate this text. So set this composition 
150 frame long which is equal to 5 second and hit enter okay now select this rectangle 2 and go to frame number 60 right click on height click on animate and go to frame number 0 and set this height value 0 okay so it's looking something like that okay now go to frame number 45 right click on center click on animate and go to frame number approx 120 and set this line over here okay okay now go to frame number 120 select this text one and go to layout option right click on center click on animate and go to frame number 45 and drag this text over here okay now select this text two and click on this layout go to frame number 150 right click on center click on animate and go to frame number 45 and drag this text over here okay so it's looking something like that now go to frame number 120 again and select this rectangle one right click on center click on animate and set this something like that okay and then go to frame number 45 and drag this rectangle over here okay now let's smooth this animation so go to spline window press f4 to full screen and click on this one button and check this text one and click on this option here select this keyframe press s to smooth hold this handle and make the curve something like that okay now check this text one click on this one select this keyframe press s to smooth hold this handle and make the curve something like that and do the same for all so check this rectangle one click on this option here select this keyframe press s to smooth hold this handle and make the curve something like that now check this height and click on this option select this keyframe press s to smooth hold this handle and make the curve something like that and now last one so check this click on this fit button select this keyframe press s to smooth hold this handle and make the curve something like that okay now it's done so press f4 to exit and go to flow window and now let's check this now let's merge this background so place it over here and select this merge 3 and click on this xf to add a transform after this merge 3 and and now let's merge this text with our background so take a merge node connect this yellow point to this background and green point to this transform and drag this merge 4 to the viewer okay now select this transform to right click on this flow window go to guide option check this show guide and select this transform and set this text in center so go to frame number approx 135 and set this text in center okay now it's done now right click on this flow window and go to guide and uncheck this show guide okay so it's almost done so let's check this animation okay so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial i hope you like it so i will see you next tutorial till then bye bye